Welcome to Bible Reveal, where we dive into stories and chapters of the Bible. Genesis chapter 42 Joseph's Brothers in Egypt When Jacob heard that grain was available in Egypt, he said to his sons, Why are you standing around looking at one another? I have heard there is grain in Egypt. Go down there and buy enough grain to keep us alive. Otherwise, we'll die. So Joseph's ten older brothers went down to Egypt to buy grain. But Jacob wouldn't let Joseph's younger brother Benjamin go with them, for fear some harm might come to him. So Jacob's sons arrived in Egypt along with others to buy food, for the famine was in Canaan as well. Since Joseph was governor of all Egypt and in charge of selling grain to all the people, it was to him that his brothers came. When they arrived, they bowed before him with their faces to the ground. Joseph recognized his brothers instantly, but he pretended to be a stranger and spoke harshly to them. Where are you from? he demanded. From the land of Canaan, they replied. We have come to buy food. Although Joseph recognized his brothers, they didn't recognize him. And he remembered the dreams he'd had about them many years before. He said to them, You are spies. You have come to see how vulnerable our land has become. No, my lord, they exclaimed. Your servants have simply come to buy food. We are all brothers, members of the same family. We are honest men, sir. We are not spies. Yes, you are, Joseph insisted. You have come to see how vulnerable our land has become. Sir, they said, there are actually twelve of us. We, your servants, are all brothers, sons of a man living in the land of Canaan. Our youngest brother is back there with our father right now, and one of our brothers is no longer with us. But Joseph insisted, as I said, you are spies. This is how I will test your story. I swear by the life of Pharaoh that you will never leave Egypt unless your youngest brother comes here. One of you must go and get your brother. I'll keep the rest of you here in prison. Then we'll find out whether or not your story is true. By the life of Pharaoh, if it turns out that you don't have a younger brother, then I'll know you are spies. So Joseph put them all in prison for three days. On the third day, Joseph said to them, I am a God-fearing man. If you do as I say, you will live. If you really are honest men, choose one of your brothers to remain in prison. The rest of you may go home with grain for your starving families. But you must bring your youngest brother back to me. This will prove that you are telling the truth and you will not die. To this they agreed. Speaking among themselves, they said, Clearly we are being punished because of what we did to Joseph long ago. We saw his anguish when he pleaded for his life, but we wouldn't listen. That's why we're in this trouble. Didn't I tell you not to sin against the boy? Reuben asked. But you wouldn't listen, and now we have to answer for his blood. Of course, they didn't know that Joseph understood them, for he had been speaking to them through an interpreter. Now he turned away from them and began to weep. When he regained his composure, he spoke to them again. Then he chose Simeon from among them and had him tied up right before their eyes. Joseph then ordered his servants to fill the men's sacks with grain, but he also gave secret instructions to return each brother's payment at the top of his sack. He also gave them supplies for their journey home. So the brothers loaded their donkeys with the grain and headed for home. But when they stopped for the night and one of them opened his sack to get grain for his donkey, he found his money in the top of his sack. Look, he exclaimed to his brothers, my money has been returned, it's here in my sack. Then their hearts sank. Trembling, they said to each other, what has God done to us? When the brothers came to their father, Jacob, in the land of Canaan, they told him everything that had happened to them. The man who is governor of the land spoke very harshly to us, they told him. He accused us of being spies scouting the land, but we said, We are honest men, not spies. We are twelve brothers, sons of one father. One brother is no longer with us, and the youngest is at home with our father in the land of Canaan. Then the man who is governor of the land told us, This is how I will find out if you are honest men. 
Leave one of your brothers here with me, and take grain for your starving families and go on home. But you must bring your youngest brother back to me. Then I will know you are honest men and not spies. Then I will give you back your brother, and you may trade freely in the land. As they emptied out their sacks, there in each man's sack was the bag of money he had paid for the grain. The brothers and their father were terrified when they saw the bags of money. Jacob exclaimed, You are robbing me of my children. Joseph is gone. Simeon is gone. And now you want to take Benjamin too. Everything is going against me. Then Reuben said to his father, You may kill my two sons if I don't bring Benjamin back to you. I'll be responsible for him, and I promise to bring him back. But Jacob replied, My son will not go down with you. His brother Joseph is dead, and he is all I have left. If anything should happen to him on your journey, you would send this grieving white-haired man to his grave. So what can we learn from this chapter? Genesis chapter 42 presents a rich narrative that teaches us several important lessons. One of the central themes we encounter in this chapter is the concept of reconciliation and forgiveness. The story revolves around Joseph's brothers traveling to Egypt to buy grain during a severe famine. Unbeknownst to them, Joseph, who they had sold into slavery years ago, is now a high-ranking official in Egypt. As the brothers appear before Joseph, they do not recognize him, but Joseph recognizes them. This situation sets the stage for a dramatic and emotional encounter. Joseph, although holding power over them, chooses to test his brother's character and see if they have changed. Through various interactions and tests, including the accusation of being spies and the demand to bring their youngest brother Benjamin, Joseph assesses their sincerity and integrity. The narrative of Joseph and his brothers in Genesis 42 underscores the importance of repentance, humility, and the restoration of relationships. It shows us that even in situations of past hurt and betrayal, forgiveness and reconciliation are possible. It encourages us to examine our own attitudes and actions towards others, to seek reconciliation where there is brokenness, and to trust in God's plan even in the midst of difficulties and uncertainties. The story of Joseph and his brothers serves as a timeless reminder of God's faithfulness and his desire for healing and unity among his people. Join us at Bible Revealed as we explore the Bible chapter by chapter. Thank you and God bless you.